Oh, okay guys, welcome to this video. You are gonna notice in just a little bit, we're, we're getting to it, we're getting to it, don't get me wrong, but uh, in just a little bit, you're gonna see a little different intro. That's because we're switching gears. It's still Land of the Free, we are still going strong on that, but we switch from the bow hunting and do a little bit of rifle hunting here and there. So you're gonna see a little bit of different hunting, but it's still gonna be elk footage, it's still gonna be awesome. We're gonna push elk footage probably all the way out through maybe January. And um, so my hunt is coming really, really soon and I cannot wait for you guys to watch it. But so in the uh, in the merry season of rifle giveaways, that's what we got going on today. Sig Cross, remember, Cody talked about it this last video. Well, we already, we just gave it away to Ron Smith. Ron Smith, that's pretty vague. That's very vague. Uh, so if you're email Ron Smith, if you're Ron Smith out there, uh, it's Ron L. Smith. And then it goes, has some numbers and stuff like that after that. So if that's you and that's the starting of your email, we will get in touch with you. But congratulations, you just want to sit cross. Awesome gun. I was going to bring it up today, but um, anyway, I had to cross the street with it and long story. So anyway, congratulations, buddy. Congratulations for that. So... We've got a big, giant, giant week this week, guys. Coming up, just uh, current events. I'm just going to try to roll through, make this as quick as possible. Five days of Christmas. If you remember last year, Trevor got in his onesie and uh, did the five days of Christmas. Greatest footage ever. We're going to do that again this year. All of our partners threw down huge, and so every single day, we'll have a big giveaway every single day. So... Today, what we're going to do is we're going to do a Worksharp Sharpener's Kit. It's a whole box of stuff. And we're also going to throw in a lifetime Onyx membership. Not an elite membership, not a yearly membership. It's going to be a lifetime. For the rest of your life, you will have Onyx and whatever they come out with next, you can keep downloading. So that is going to be a lifetime membership. So anyway, that is the first giveaway that we're going to do today. And you have a good chance of winning because this video is when I when we edit this all out, it's probably going to come out somewhere around 4 o'clock, and that's going to end at midnight tonight. So you have a pretty good chance of winning that if you want in on that. So bunch of stuff to give away this week. Uh, look every single day. We're going to have something every single day of the week, and um, so it should be kind of fun. This is my favorite time of year, Christmas, uh, spending time with the family, hopefully getting something for somebody else instead of yourself, although I could use a bath boat. <laughs> anyway, but... Uh, Guys, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you like this second series of videos in the rifle side of things. I just, you know, it's kind of something that I've got into a lot more lately. As if you've been following along, you know. I'm not saying I'm never going to pick up a bow again. I promise you guys at some point it's going to happen. But um, I've been having a great time with the rifle hunts. And I really, really hope you guys like these hunts coming up. Dear Heavenly Father, this is some awesome country. We ask that you watch over us. We're gonna drop down into some nasty stuff. We pray that Lord that you keep us safe. Thank you for uh, giving us life. We ask in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Just save your breath, no one time. You dug a hole and learn how to climb. Oh, you made the bed you lay in, and I'm here to say goodnight. Good morning. It is, uh, it's early, it's o dark 30, but kind of a quick turnaround on this one. Um, we just got back from Camp Pelton here about just a little over 24 hours ago and we're loading back up and headed to Idaho. Um, kind of meet up with a whole bunch of the good buddies, uh, Brian and Casey and Darren. Uh, Trent's gonna come over here in a little bit and we've got some rifle elk and a couple rifle deer tags. So. Pretty excited for this one. Um, we got a little over right around 10 days uh, set aside for this hunt. So um, it's a tag that we've all been hoping to get for a few years and finally kind of stars aligned. And 
it all worked out. We got got some tags. So it's supposed to be cold. It's down in the uh, single digits at night over there, and um, reports are that bulls are bugling. So I'm hopeful. I, I, it, it'd be awesome if they were. It's uh, middle of October, and if they're still screaming, it'll be it'll be pretty sweet. But yeah, had a had a great trip to Camp Pendleton. Awesome deer hunt. Great experience as always. Uh, can't can't say enough good things about it. But uh, we got a long long drive ahead of us and. I'm going to try and hopefully get the wall tents um, set up before dark and tomorrow I'll put in a scout day and then um, opening days in a couple days. So can't wait to share with you guys. We're not even halfway yet, but we're making it. Encountered a little bit of snow coming over the pass, but we still got probably, I'm going to say at least, at least six hours to go. But we're also reminded by Brian, we're going to stop and grab our wolf tags, which if you're hunting in the state of Idaho, highly recommend picking up the wolf tag. $31 whether you're a resident or not. So we'll see, but it'd be pretty sweet to kill a wolf. We'll see what happens. All right. How many hours was that? A lot. A Too lot many. of hours. Too many. <laughs> We're here. Brian, thanks for reserving camp. You know what I noticed on the way here? How many camps do you guys see? None. I saw a you bunch see of that truck horse camp setting up. That one, that was a big horse 30, camp. Yeah. But yeah. So, anyway, Brian's got his tent all dialed and styled, and we got to set up another one, and then we got to set up go. a cook shack. What, what did you find there? It looks like Brian's arts and crafts. What, what kind of treasure here. we got? He's up here all by himself. Nice, nice. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna set up one more wall tent. We got to cut. Uh, we'll cut firewood tomorrow, and then we got to set up our cook tent. Stand by one, time to get camp set up. Morning. Nothing like opening morning, Strand. Nothing, nothing. Nothing quite like it. Nothing like oh. opening morning. Oh, yeah. Here we have the quick shack. Time for some coffee. We trophy hunting for the first, what, 45? At least first half hour. First half hour, yeah. okay, good. At least. Well, I really want to take a look and see what's around. You gotta, you gotta, gotta test the waters a little bit, huh? Yeah. I'm excited, we saw, well, between our our little scouting mission and Darren and Casey, we saw quite a few, quite a few elk, so see what happens here. Not a ton of people, which is nice. Gotta find the horn ones. Gotta find one of the horns. Find lots, lots of girl elk. Girls. Lots of girl elk. Where there's girls, there's boys. Yes. Ain't that right, Case? No. Do you got the jitters? Not yet. Stone, you got the jitters a little bit? Yeah, I'm just cold. Not cold, come on. Opening day jitters. Let's do it. Yeah. We uh, found some elk yesterday evening. Didn't see any bulls, but it was, we couldn't see them all. So we are gonna go check that out this morning. Where are they going? They're going to different roads and get a glassing point. 10-4. OP. OP. So we're gonna just, it's close to camp too, it's not far. So we got about probably half hour till we can actually see something. We're gonna kinda go stage, and see if we can. Get them at first light. Get one right out of the gate would be good, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Under our belt. Not too many people, not too many camps. Hopefully nobody fouls us, hopefully, but we'll see. Today's just gonna be kind of a look around, see what we can find and then surround them and drown them, hopefully. Strand, stone, finger, fingers this. ready. You feel comfortable about your weapon? Yeah, I like carrying a rifle versus a bow. Rifles are nice. Yeah, let's do this. All right, we're gonna head up your way and then we can keep eyes on those up and you guys head in. Good talk, good talk. <laughs> okay. I got nothing, but we're heading your way. All right, so they've got uh, the other team, Darren and Casey have some elk spotted. This is where we saw them last night. Cannot, can't turn one up right here. Today they must have bailed over the top. So, but they have elk spotted with a bull spotted. So, we're gonna go see if we can't hand signal them in at least, so where we can get the get them on on that elk. So we're gonna turn and burn right now. Okay, so we're just kind of glassing up in this canyon right here. We're at the top, midway, kind of midway. We've got a whole pile of elk. So with two bulls. We got two legal bulls that we can see in the phone scope right now. 
and we're just trying to make a plan here what we want to do here opening morning elk not a bad thing Brian what do you think uh this didn't take long did it no <laughs> Strand, you look tasty enough. I'm ready. I'm just waiting on Casey and <laughs> Darren. I'm not sure what their plan is, but we should probably will kill these. They might sit this one out. Yeah, they might slow play it. Um, are they checking wind? They might be checking wind. Three bulls now spotted. So this is looking good. Kind of going up gonna, through the bottom, just maybe. Just just straight at them. <laughs> I don't know if we could shoot from that. That closer ridge, it's hard to say. That'd be a poke, I think. Okay, so we got the whole crew back. Good to have you back. Yeah. Missed good, you. Good being here. Missed you. Um, spotted another uh, another bull, just right on this, right on this hump, right on this hump right here. So, not too far. Anyway, looks like a four point, maybe a small little five point. I think Strand is allowing to shoot, I believe. What do we, what do we, what do we? I'm ready. He's, he's, just go right to that ridge. Pretty, le, pretty legit. The creek is legit. It's That's more the same creek that goes behind. More of a river, but we can get across right here, but park by their horse camp. And walk down. We just gotta park right by their camp. Is pretty, it like uncrossed? Pretty big. <laughs> is it? How dedicated it's, it's like wired in the road. Really? Yeah. Oh. How shedicated are you? Yeah. I mean, come on. How bad do you want it, Eric? Dude, that pack is not bad. No. <laughs> that pack out's not bad. No. We need to kill that. We need to kill that elk. Well, let's go ahead and move down there and. Do you want to go horse camp or you want to go cross country? We can try it. I just think it's going to be it's going to be wet. Is it? Guys, I think we should go try and kill it. We'll okay. Go. Time to go shoot an elk. Yes. Stones we carry, clothes we lived in, all the tales we will tell our children. Oh. Little frost on the pumpkin this morning. Perfect day for elk. Lay beside me. Next ridge, that's where we want to get. I think if we go right, we can stay low. Okay. This is too low. Are they just right there? They're right there. Wow. On that knoll. Can you see him, Strand? Okay. I think we're getting low enough to where we can get down in there. The cover? I don't know. It's not looking that way. We might just have to try and stay in a line. But it look like they're starting to move around the corner of that knob. I'm setting the sun. I'm ready to run. I'm walking a tire. So we're trying to keep a close eye on these elk. They look like they're 
I'm not, but they are. From what I'm listening to them saying, they look like they're kind of feeding down. If they feed over, we just don't have the, it's too open ground to cover to get to them. So we kind of need them to go out of sight so we can advance. We're trying to make a good play here. Well, these four more elk on this hillside. We're not sure if there's any bulls in there or not yet, but we're trying to get eyes on them so we can find out. We're surrounded. We are surrounded by elk. <laughs> it's opening day and it's been a good, good morning so far. We're like an hour and a half in. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. I wish we could see an elk this year. What's that? I hope we see an elk this season. happened in the last 15 20 minutes we just watched a five point get shot about 15 yards away watched a herd of like i don't know 60 to 80 elk up and over the ridge spotted another group and then came down from that group and there's two bulls one's a pretty nice looking bull and then a, uh, i think it's the same like four point we saw earlier as trent pointed out he's a non-typical bull so I definitely think, i'm just saying definitely i'll try to figure out how to get up there and get a shot on these elk they're 1500 from us the, the tough part about this burn is it's actually hard to sneak around. And it's pretty open. It's pretty open. It's a lot more open than yeah. you think. What do we got? Talk to me. We got 31.9 degrees, 29.81 for barrel, and 86 humidity. Can't go way down. Take the shot. Let's go up the right side of this thing, up to that knob, yeah. and see if we can pick our way down to the left in the timber, and maybe get closer. I don't know. Talking on the top of this knob? Yeah. Yeah. This next knob. So we can shoot across on that flat. But this hill is a lot bigger than it looks <laughs> from the road. So, we got a little ways to go. A few more hundred feet of elevation. We'll be good. But nobody's over there, which is really good. Where we got? Where we got? So Casey just spotted that, well, at least one cow, but in the same exact spot where we sell those bulls. Um, we just bumped into a hunter, super nice guy. He has a camp down here below us. and. Uh, he even volunteered if we get one to bring his horses up, so that'd be kind of cool. Um, we're gonna get up this ridge, try to get even. I'm gonna say six, seven yard shot. That'd be kind of be my guess. I think it'll be closer. Maybe that. closer than that. I think four or five. But they're bedded, so that's a good thing. Yeah. So we finally made it up to the top, and we are. We're making our final ascent around the side of the hill.
Side note, we got a good view. Kinda. See the trees. That that was that's that's hard to take. Okay, well, after we screwed up those elk, hiked all the way out. I had to put the camera away because it was super slick and snowy. But went to a whole other glass, you know, look at this. How pretty is that? It's really pretty. Strand said he's got something spotted here. Hopefully, just spot his milk. I haven't confirmed this yet. How many, per what percent are you? 75%. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty good. I'll take 75. Sweet. If it means me getting out of these crocs, though, ain't gonna happen, pal. Okay? So I don't know if you guys can hear that, but we got a pack of wolves below us. And they're just howling like crazy. Um, we just, Brian just missed one, and then we had two others run below us, and it sounds like a couple more right out in front of us. We're trying to get, trying to get eyes on them, but it's kind of tough. Then when we do see them, they're, they're just moving. Is that no one? Yeah, it's over here. So yeah, there's a pile of wolves in here, which also is why we're not seeing any deer elk. <laughs> but yeah, quite, quite an evening. Hopefully one of these things pops out within a few hundred yards. We'll see what happens. What do you think, Trent? I've never seen anything like it, I'll be honest, ever. It was uh, fairly crazy. First wolf I've ever seen. So They're not small. No, and they're, they're beautiful. <laughs> yeah, they're actually they really pretty. <laughs> they're really cool. Yeah, so we're just coming to a new spot to glass and come around the corner and up on this hill behind me, I saw something and I thought, man, that's a huge coyote and it was white and it was a wolf. And both Strand and Stone have wolf tags, but we shot at it. It was moving pretty good and we never did get it. What do you see? And now we have wolves howling all around us. There's a wolf howling down below us here. There's a wolf over here howling. It is crazy. Crazy. I, I just, I don't know. It's hard to explain. <laughs> it's, it's awesome is what it is. It's not awesome, but it's like to have never seen a wolf. Just, yeah. And now we're just surrounded by him. Yeah. Wolf heavy right well, now. Wolf heavy. Pretty wolf heavy. We're trying to do our job here. So I think I got the phone scope and everything set up. If we can just find one, get him on camera. But, oh man, this is exciting. They've got to be hunting. Yeah, they've got to be hunting something. Well, so we did not get pretty dark now, but we're just going to stay here and see if the wolves, they'd come back out, but they haven't. They quit howling too. They were howling really good. We haven't heard him in a while, but it was crazy. There was one howling down way over here. There was one howling clear back over here. I mean, I'm talking thousands of yards. And then there was one back up over the top of this ridge. Do you notice how different their crazy their tones yeah, were? They're totally different sounds. Probably one of the more impressive wildlife things I've seen in a while. That was awesome. So I hope you guys liked that one. Is that a howling? Hope you guys like day one. <laughs> day two <laughs> is uh, gonna be a barn burner as well, I think. Here in Allen? It's just howling right there, yeah. It's howling right down that bottom. Man, that's crazy. So, we've got about an hour and a half drive back to camp. Day one is pretty much in the books. And yeah, we've got, Strand's got 10 days here. I've got about five days here, so. We're gonna we're gonna get some elk, maybe some wolves. Uh, we got deer tags. Definitely not deer. Huh? Definitely not deer. Not deer. We haven't seen a deer yet. Not even seen a doe yet. But hopefully, they, we're told that when you do see one, it's a giant. Sometimes. So we'll see. Thank you guys for watching day one, day two. To come. Okay, morning day two. It's 13 degrees, 13 degrees out right now. A little chilly, but we are hoping for a very successful day. We're gonna go back to that same spot that we started on yesterday where we saw those few bulls and a bunch of cows. 
it's a small ridge line they've got to be there somewhere so pretty banner first day see if we can back it up day two pull some meat to the camp is what we're hoping for today so hopefully we just gotta just gotta get a shot at one of these things strand high hopes today you ready to put down some of the best food of your life 100 yeah. percent hope you like elk meat maybe we get, maybe we'll get uh, surrounded by wolves again I could have done better. I could have done better there. I could have done better. That's all I could think about all night. Like, <laughs> I didn't get one ounce of footage. Are you kidding me, Trent? Are you kidding me? We got right lots now? of howling. We've got we've got audio. We got good audio. Trent froze up. He's, he's, he's he, yeah, kind of froze up a little bit. It's all right. Yeah, yeah. First wolf encounter like that. I mean, it can happen. But when you're trying to just deal with adversity, you gotta call. You gotta pull through. Trent had camera, cell phone camera. He went binoculars. He went he went the binocular route. He's not proud. <laughs> God. When you put it like when you put it like that, it makes me look really bad. <laughs> All right, day two. Let's do this. So I think the I think the best to describe our morning of thus far is uneventful. Would be the words I would choose. We saw what I think Strand saw six cows on a hillside, but other than that, we haven't seen anything this country is just beautiful can't find a deer an elk we did see another wolf track just a little bit ago in the snow which i don't know might allude to something strand your thoughts <laughs> this area is a little well it's beautiful i mean it's probably some of the best habitat we've seen but we haven't seen an animal in it yet we're trying to put the, the, the kind of the, the puzzle pieces together That's with the, the wolf tracks too. It's like every area that we're at, we see wolf tracks. We haven't seen an animal. Zero. Zero. So, yeah, checking checking those boxes. Checking, checking those, those boxes. wolf boxes. No, this is gorgeous though. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Okay, changing our taxes just a hair. Found a big old giant canyon off the beaten path, and we're just gonna hike way back into it and then glass up for the evening see if we can see anything we, today's been kind of a lot of glassing a little of seeing been kind of rough. Yeah, rough but it's just day two we're not discouraged or nothing but just trying something new here hills are super deceptive you don't think it's a long way <laughs> it's just like you never get there you're still going but man it's pretty tonight's gonna be awesome I'm assuming it doesn't look that steep on camera but, but what our plan is is to go up this get up in there there's some rocks over in there get way up the ridge so we can look back and all this stuff behind me so that's the plan right now we're kind of using it if we see something we'll make a move on it if we can we're using it to look this whole basin over for a scouting trip kind of for tomorrow if we see elk in here we'll get up way early and get way back in here in the morning but right now we're just kind of we're kind of feeling it out and just seeing what's here right now so we just luck You do see a deer? I see three deer. But 
and we heard an elk bark. We heard a, an elk bark, so we still can't see anything yet. Strand says he sees three deer right now. Elk bark is encouraging. But so we're gonna hunker down. I'm gonna see if we can't get some phone scope once we actually once we get something actually spotted here. Hey Strand, we're getting elk footage. Content. How are we going to shoot at those? <laughs> well, as you can tell, those elk were running at an incredible rate. <laughs> Something spooked them way up on top of the mountain across from us. And they came right down towards us and then side hilled. But no bull. But Strand swore he saw a neck collar on one. And none of these ones had a neck collar on it. So maybe there was a bull and a cow or something that split off somewhere up in here. Serious wolf problem. These, these elk are terrified. <laughs> we did see some deer though. I've seen six deer, which is huge. <laughs> and two of the does had offspring, <clears throat> which means there's a buck somewhere. <laughs> somewhere on this mountain. Within a, within, within a 20 mile range. Yeah. Give me a day two update. There's something really positive and inspirational. Um, we didn't get surrounded by wolves today, which is, <laughs> I mean, uh, yesterday was, it was fun, but it's also, I mean, we're in wolf country. It's on the plus side. But no, we, uh, we saw elk both morning and evening. We're just, we're just trying to figure out a way, the best way to hunt this, this territory. Like, it's big country, and we're not afraid to hike it, but at the same time, you kind of feel like you're, you're almost pigeonholing yourself to one spot by hiking into it. So, we've been trying to cover as much, uh, ground as possible, and it's paying off, but it's also... I don't know, you, you kind of feel like we're in that gray of like, we, have, we, we found elk, but we haven't found like the big concentration yet. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, we saw some deer, that was good. See some deer, but uh, hopefully I mean, each day we're, we're seeing elk, we just gotta find a bull. We had those cows run away, if there would've been a bull in there. That was cool. That would've been good, so. Been hard to get a shot. They were they were moving. I mean, they, they, their tongues were hanging out of their mouths. They were running hard. But then we ended up seeing two hunters come off this ridge. And another hunter come off that ridge, so lots of uh, lots of hunters out, and they're not afraid to get get back here, which is good. It's good, but not hopeful. Hopeful for tomorrow. Looking forward to seeing what we can. Oh yeah, we can find. Turn something up. Tomorrow's a new day. We got to hike out of here and hopefully hit the ground running tomorrow. Yeah. So the saga the saga continues. Hope you guys like this series so far. The old Idaho series we're calling it. Actually, I just called it that, so I have, I have no idea what it's called. But, um, yeah, hope you guys like this little series we're putting together. Tomorrow's a new day, and hopefully give you guys some awesome elk footage. Okay, morning, day three. It feels like we've been here for a month, but we have not. Um... We wanted to get to this road. We got up early. We got clear back in there and there's a rig parked. I think like camping at the road that we wanted to hike out this long ridge. So we're trying to make a game plan, switch plans on the fly. We're just glassing up these giant basins. Brian's just walked up there and he's glassing up in there. Strand and I are gonna glass back over on this other side. It's a uh, man cold. It's 18 degrees. I think not too bad, but bluebird skies don't have any weather coming. Maybe some weather tomorrow is what it's looking like, but we're not sure. So hiking glass, hiking glass, just letting the eyes do the work, and hopefully we can pull pull some elk out. We've seen elk every day, but we just got to find a bull, and that's just been the kind of the tough thing is finding a legal bull and in a shootable spot that we can actually get to, you know. So it's been good though. If we stay after it, we will get one. We just gotta just keep. Keep a positive attitude and keep going. What's the good word for this morning? Oh, well, we got up here. It's actually really, really cool looking country. I saw a couple deer, um, and the road we wanted to go up, there was a guy already parked up the gate. So we're doing the right thing for sure. And turn around and onto greener pastures, but it looks really good up there. Yeah, it does. I think there's a reason why he's there. So we might have just stumbled onto a gym here. Yeah. 
we uh, found a canyon that there's no rigs. There's been a horse in here the last probably two days ago, but six miles of we've been seeing a lot of people. This is the first place. Ton of people. Been. Six miles of hopefully untouched goodness. Deer and elk paradise. Deer and elk paradise. Yet to see a game animal. <laughs> but we're just gonna hike this whole thing for as far as we until we until we find one. Okay. <laughs> 